What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego back with some more boxing. Now I'm all drugged up. Got my Heath Ledger on. Rest in peace, Heath Ledger. Took a bunch of fucking medicine. I feel a little bit better, but I still feel fucked up. Um, and I want to do a video about Amir Khan versus Floyd Mayweather because it looks like Amir Khan's little brother came to bat for him. And he had this to say in a recent interview. They were asking, they said, a fight with Floyd Mayweather has been mentioned for next year. Would you pick your brother to beat Mayweather? This is Haroon Khan's response. This is one fight where I think Mayweather has a good chance to be beaten. Mayweather has proved himself against fighters who are stronger, more powerful, and bigger than him. Some who are naturally two or three weights above him. But he's never really faced anyone who can match him for speed. When Mayweather fought Zab Judah, it was an even fight for a few rounds. Amir has the same speed. He is hungrier, younger. He is confident that he's ready for this fight. And he's been working hard with trainers Virgil Hunter and Tony Brady. So let's hope the fight is finalized and signed. If he keeps training the way he is, it will be a good result for us. Okay. I respect the fact that that's family, La Familia. So... You want to come up to bat for him. You're not going to bash your brother. But I'm sick of the cons now, Haroon Khan, as well as Amir Khan, bringing up this whole speed. Yes, speed kills. Um, some people say styles make fights, speed kills, whatever other slogans or sayings you want to add to the equation. However, there are certain intangibles that you need to have aside from speed. Speed, you're talking about probably the best chess player in modern boxing. So you're going to have to look at defense. You're going to have to look at the fact that Amir Khan lacks a chin. You're going to have to look at Mayweather's accuracy. Speed is one thing, but there are ways to combat speed. One of them, timing. And who arguably has some of the best timing in the sport of boxing, timing his shots? Floyd Mayweather. He's an awesome counterpuncher. He beat a counterpuncher in Marquez badly. And you could say, oh, he weighed two more pounds. He beat him. Marquez never won the rematch. He went on record saying that. So fuck what y'all talking about. And he beat him. He timed a counterpuncher. So someone who comes in reckless like Khan, who do you think is going to happen? Like, I, I mean, I just don't see the outcome. Another way to combat speed is go to the body. Slow the person down. Who has an awesome inside fight game and a varied body attack with head attack. May Mayweather is not necessarily a head hunter. If you look at the Zab Judah fight, that's exactly what he started doing. Zab Judah was winning and stealing some of the early rounds, besting him, and he adapted. So he started going to the body, and he started slowly but surely just placing well-placed shots on Zab's body, slowing him down, frustrating him. And not to mention that Amir Khan to fight Mayweather would be coming up in weight from 140. A lot of people, you guys say stuff about boxing, styles make fights, this and that, but I really don't think you guys do your homework or know. Not all of you guys, because some of you guys are very credible and knowledgeable, but keep in mind, Amir Khan is a volume puncher. He's a puncher who has more or less TKOs. Look at his resume. He has one KO, and that was to Zab Judah, and that wasn't like a he knocked Zab Judah out cold. Zab Judah was arguing with the ref. Probably could have kept going, but it was a body shot that dropped Zab Judah. We know Zab Judah has mental lapses, if you will, where he breaks down and gets frustrated and takes himself out of the fight. Uh, still a strong win for Amir Khan, but he's fighting at 140, and it's he's not knocking anybody out. So you think he's going to go up in weight and have the power to knock Mayweather out? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I've just not seen it. Like, Mayweather just went in with Saul Canelo Alvarez, who realistically shouldn't probably be fighting at 154 because he's big, and it's probably hurting him to, to cut weight and make weight, but they're using it as a, a an advantage, making a bigger fighter because he's young. He can still make the weight and pretty much be a bigger, stronger guy fighting out of a a lower weight division, 154, but no doubt about it, Canelo can make 160. 
um, and probably could do it more comfortably. And he's taking punches from from fighters like that. He has a defense, but he still gets hit. And Amir Khan's going up from 140, a division where he never really knocked anybody out. He TKO'd him like Pauli Malignaggi. He just overwhelmed those fighters. And those were fights. A lot of the fights, a lot of Amir Khan's best wins were pre-Lamont Peterson. They were like the Maidanas and Malignaggi's and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't understand this whole... He has the speed to rival Mayweather. Yes, Amir Khan has very fast hands, blistering hand speed. But he doesn't have a chin, so it's like you can't have one without the other. Like it it doesn't make it doesn't make sense why they're using speed as this as the total platform. As if nobody's been able to decode the Mayweather puzzle because they didn't have the speed to do it. Like I said, speed kills, speed poses problems in a lot of fights, but against a skilled fighter and chess player like Mayweather, I'm pretty sure you're going to need more than just speed. And you're going to have to be able to take his best work, his best shots. So, I don't know. And then, just to further dampen the speed argument, Amir Khan was getting hurt by Marcos Maidana, who is slow as molasses, especially then when he fought him. He, was, he wasn't even fighting with Robert Garcia. I think Marcos Maidana has come a long way as a fighter with Robert Garcia training at, at the Garcia gym in Oxnard. Another fighter, Danny Garcia, stopped him in four rounds. Very slow, especially in comparison to, to Amir Khan. He's, he's not that fast of a dude. I know Mayweather's ten times faster than Danny Garcia, yet Danny Garcia was able to time him in three or four rounds and get him out of there. So I, I really don't see what he's going to do against a sharpshooter like Mayweather. And that's exactly what Mayweather is, a sharpshooter. If you ever watch the old school wrestling, Mayweather is like the Bret Hart of boxing. He's like fundamentally and technically sound and proficient at what he does. He's a sharpshooter. The best there is, the best there ever was, and the best there ever will be. I used to like wrestling. Fuck y'all. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Is speed the answer to decoding the Mayweather puzzle? Seems like Haroon and Amir both seem to think so. Leave a comment. Let me know if this is the style that's going to make the fight. Let me know what you guys think of this potential matchup. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.